Hey YouTube, this is TechFanatic9 today, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak and unlock your iPhone 4 running on any firmware as long as you preserved your baseband from 1.59.00. 1. Alright guys? Alright, so first thing we're going to do all right, is to download, your, download the firmware that you want to use, alright? The latest firmware that's untethered right now is 5.0.1, alright? So today we're going to download that one, alright? Oh. All right, so let's download that one. Um, usually I go on to FelixBruns.de, but um, they haven't updated their website. I guess or, or something hasn't happened, and they haven't included the 5.0.1 firmware. So um, I found a really good website that has all the firmwares. It's idownloadblog.com. I'll have both links in the description. All right, guys. So after you're done downloading that, you want to download Snowbreeze. All right. So just go to ihatesnow.com, and again, I will have the link at the description. All right. So just download it, alright, just download it there, alright, after you're done with that, just open up Snow Breeze, just gonna open up Snow Breeze, alright, just click OK, alright, and now, even if you don't want to go to your latest firmware, all these jailbreaks work, they're all untethered, alright, 3.1.3, all those are untethered. Except for 5.1, which is that header. Alright, guys. Alright, so let's start. Alright, so let's click next. Alright, you want to browse the firmware that you just downloaded, the one that you want to jailbreak and unlock, preserve the baseband, I guess. Alright, so mine's right here 5.0.1 for mine. There it goes, it's been verified. Let's press next. Alright, now here you have a lot of options, alright? iFaith mode is um, if you have an SHH blog, blob that you have already, alright? I have that, but I'm not going to use that because most people don't or they don't want to back it up, alright? Simple mode is if you don't know a lot about it, but expert mode isn't that you don't need to know a lot. So I'm going to do expert mode, alright? It's just for the general population, I guess. Alright, so I want to activate it because I'm not on... Uh, AT&T, alright? I use T-Mobile, so I activate it. Click Next. If you want to install any apps, you want to add your sources, anything like that. After that, build your IPSW. Alright, this will take a while. After this is done, I'll show you the rest, right? I'll be right back after this. Alright, after that's done, it should say if you want to donate, click Yes if you want to or No if you don't. It's your choice. After that, just click OK, and you'll be at this screen, alright? You'll put in DFU mode, right? So first, you want to turn off your device, alright? The first thing you want is to plug it in and then turn off your device, alright? Mine's plugged in. Let me turn it off now. Alright, after it's turned off, all you want to do is press start and follow the on-screen instructions, alright? So let's do that. I'm gonna be doing it. You'll just be looking at the screen, alright? I'll show you what it's doing, alright? So it says, please turn off your device. You wanna press start and you wanna prepare to press the home and power, alright? So you wanna press home and power. Alright, prepare to release the power button. So just keep holding on the home button. Don't let go of the home button. Alright, see how it says uh, running iRev? Right there. Alright, that's a good sign. That means you did it correctly. If you didn't do it correctly, you can try it again. If you keep getting an error or something, just put it in the comments. I can help you out with that. Alright. Press OK. Alright, you're done. You can close that out. Now all you want to do is here. Click check. Check. And now you get this error, alright? That's a good sign. Push, shift, left click, alright? Now you get to this screen. And now where you had your original firmware downloaded, you should have a custom firmware from Snowbreeze, alright? Just say Snowbreeze on there, just select that. And click open, alright? Press open, alright? After that, everything will be fine, alright? It'll just act like a normal restore, and when it's all done, it'll have Cydia in it, 
and when you get City in it, I'll have in the description how to unlock it. You just add a source, alright? It'll only work on your iPhone 4. If you're using an iPhone 4, 1.59.00. If you don't, use Jevy SIM, alright? You have to buy a little SIM product, alright? You can just Google that, alright? Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, comment if you need any help. Alright, thanks, guys.